hello everyone in today's video we are going to make this ear warmer headband it is beginner friendly it's very fast to make and you will find all the materials and the measurement in the description box below so let's get started we start with a slip knot We are going to make 70 chains. I'm going to finish my 70 chains and I will meet you there. I have my 70 chains. Now make sure your chain is nice and straight because we are going to close into a circle. We're going to slip stitch into the first chain we made. In this way. Now we can start our first round. We start from the next chain, which is here. Here is where we close into the next. We insert the hook and we pick up a loop. We yarn over into the next chain we are going to insert our hook and pick up another loop we have a four yarn over we close three we have a two yarn over again we close two chain one again into the next stitch we insert our hook it's a chain actually not a stitch yarn over into the next chain we insert our hook pick up a loop and we have a four yarn over we close three we have a two yarn over again and we close two chain one again we repeat the same we insert our hook and we pick up a loop yarn over into the next chain we insert our hook and pick up another loop yarn over we close three yarn over again we close two chain one this is how it looks like and that's what we need to do for this round I'm at the end of the first round and if we did everything all right we should have uh, two chains one chain here and this is the chain where we started but we don't have a stitch because we just a slip stitch so we're going to work in that chain there so like before we insert our hook we pick up a loop yarn over into that slip stitch we insert the hook and we pick up the other loop yarn over close three yarn over close two chain now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch here just a simple slip stitch now to start the second round and all the round that you need to reach the size that you need see here between the stitches we have uh, these bars we are going to work into the first one the one to the right here 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 I'll show you how so we insert the hook we pick up a loop into the same space yarn over insert your hook again and pick up another loop yarn over we close three yarn over we close two chain one next space we go into the first one so insert your hook pick up a loop yarn over again in the same space yarn over close three yarn over close two chain one again 
we have the bar, we use the first space, we insert the hook, pick up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook again, pick up another loop, yarn over, close three, yarn over, close two, chain one. And that's all you need to do for this second round. I will meet you one more time to show you how we close the round. I'm almost at the end of the second round into the last space available I'm going to make my last stitch chain one and here we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch this way now we can start the third and the other round always in the same way so we insert the hook into the first space we pick up a loop yarn over insert again pick up another loop yarn over close three yarn over close two chain one into the next space the first one we do the same and we're going to continue in this fashion until we reach the size that we want. We close always in the same way and we start in the same way. I'm going to make a total six round. I will finish the sixth round and I will meet you there. I'm at the end of round six. That's how it looks like. Now I'm not going to make it the last chain, we are going to join our work with the yarn needle. I'm going to cut the yarn. Here into the first stitch. There we have, we insert the needle, we create a loop, which it will represent our last chain, and now we can weave in the end. You can go as far as you like. I'm going to split the yarn, grab just one of the two sides, and move into the next loop, and we make it. A few knots. Now we can cut the yarn and you're going to do the same with this end. To create a border for our headband we're going to make a slip knot. You can start anywhere we're going to insert the hook and make a single crochet in this way. We're going to make a single crochet in each stitch or chain you have in your headband. in this way. You continue with the single crochet until the end and I will meet you there. I'm at the end of the single crochet border. We can cut the yarn and join our work. 
with the yarn needle into the first stitch we made this way and then we're going to weave in the end like we did before I weaved the end and that's how it looks like so far now we're going to do the same in the other side I finished the border in the other side that's how it looks like and our headband ear warmer is ready I hope you like this video if it's so please give me a thumbs up thank you for watching I'll see you next time bye